Hi there, I'm Melanie Thompson and welcome to my channel. On my channel, I will show you how to beautifully decorate your home in Tuscan style. I'm passionate about thrifting, so I'll take you along on my thrifting adventures and stop in at a few of my other favorite stores along the way. And it's always fun to show friends what you found when you were thrifting, so I'll be sure to share what I found in my haul videos. Do you enjoy making your own floral arrangements? If you do, you're in luck, because I'll share step-by-step -step instructions with you. Let's begin. Hello everyone! For today's video, I am working on this little piece of furniture that I found recently at the Goodwill for $10. And I believe it's a pie chest. It might not be. It might actually be just a little utility cabinet. But I saw this and I just could not pass it up. I thought this piece of furniture had a lot of potential. I mean, uh, there, so there is some damage. But um, I'm going to really transform this piece of furniture. And this is totally not my uh, taste. I don't care for um, the roses that are on this. But I'm going to remove those. And I'll show you how here in just a minute. And you can see this is really dirty. Um, there's a lot of staining inside the door. I'll have to definitely clean this up really well before I can even begin to paint it. But there is a shelf, so that makes it really nice. But I believe that the little shelf uh, holders are missing, so I will have to replace those. But I just, I really saw a lot of potential with this piece. I mean, what do you think? I think that for the price, you couldn't beat it. It was, like I said, $10. And there is a little bit of damage, but I'm going to fix this all up. And I'm going to actually paint this a brown espresso color. So I'm really excited. I've been wanting to work on this for a while now. Um, but our weather had been rainy, and of course, I have to be doing this outside because I'm going to completely take this all apart, and then I'm going to spray paint it. And here's a little bit of the damage that I was telling you about. But let's see how this looks. So here's one of the appliques of roses, and I'm going to use my husband's power stripper to remove those. And it is going to be hot, so I'm going to use a uh, putty knife to help me to kind of uh, push the applique away. So I did try this a little bit before I started my video just to make sure that it would work okay, and it does. It works really well, so that's where I did already loosen it up. But So if you have an applique on a piece of furniture, this works really well. It does leave a little bit of sticky residue from the glue, but what I'm gonna do after I get these all off is just take a little bit of denatured alcohol and that'll clean the glue right off. So here you can see I'm just kind of pushing it with the putty knife. Um, I wanna make sure that I don't hold the uh, power stripper too close because I don't want to cause any damage to this piece of furniture, but this is working really well. So I'm just going to continue working at getting these appliques off. Then I'm going to get it all painted up. Then I'll show you how I decorated it. And here's where I decided to place my pie chest. I don't know if that's actually what it is, if it's a pie chest or a pie safe. Maybe it's just a little utility cupboard, but I'm going to refer to it as a pie safe. And I think it's going to be really great here because if you've been following me, you've heard me say different times that my telephone jack and my thermostat really bother me. I do not like it that whenever I'm decorating this area, you're able to see those. So by placing my pie chest here, it allows me to cover up those two problem areas. I decided to leave the same picture above my pie safe because I really love this picture. I just found it last year at Goodwill and I love the beautiful yellow flowers. I think it's perfect for summer. 
I'm going to start decorating on the top shelf. So let's see how good of a job I can do covering up those two problem areas. And I also want to point out that today's decorating is going to definitely have a Tuscan farmhouse feel. I'm using a few vintage books. These will work as a perfect riser for my next piece. My blue glass mason jars were given to me by my mom. I think that does a nice job of covering up the phone jack. I will be adding something to these jars just a little bit later in my video. I want the next piece I'll be using to have a punch of color and also a little bit of texture. So I'm simply going to add a cloth napkin underneath. So I just went and added this vintage coffee grinder that I purchased a few weeks ago at Goodwill. And I did share this in my most recent haul video. And if you missed that video and you're curious about all the awesome things that I found, I'll be sure to link that video below in my description box. Do you like this little rooster plate? I think it's so sweet. I was only able to purchase three of these at Goodwill. I've had these for a while. I've never had a chance to use them, but I think this is going to look really sweet with this vignette. I really wanted to tie in with the copper that was in my coffee grinder. So I just added this sweet little single serve teapot that my mom gave to me. Her mom actually gifted it to her many years ago and my mom just recently gave it to me and I absolutely love it and I think it looks perfect. Care to take a guess what I might be adding to one of my mason jars? Did you guess coffee beans? If you guessed coffee beans, you're absolutely right. I'm going to add coffee beans to my one mason jar. And I just purchased the more inexpensive ones at Wegmans. And this is the breakfast blend. I have no idea how these taste because I've never ground my own coffee. I always use pre-ground coffee or the coffee pods. But coming from Wegmans, I'm sure it's absolutely delicious. I love the smell of coffee. Oh my goodness, and I can already smell it. Oh, they smell so good. Let's see if I can get it open here without tearing the bag completely, but I'm probably gonna have to add all of them anyway, so it really doesn't matter if I rip the bag. Yeah, I don't know. So then I'm just gonna pour them in. That's going to look so nice. I already love how it's looking. So it took almost my whole bag. I don't know if you can see in there how much is left. Just in case you wanna try this at home, that's how much is left in my bag. And this is a 12 ounce package of coffee beans. Place the lid back on. There we go. So as I'm looking at my mason jar, I'm thinking that it might look better if my jar is only filled about three quarters of the way full of coffee beans. 
I think that looks so much better. What do you think? Now I'm gonna go ahead and decorate the top area. And I did go ahead and leave the backer board on this pie safe. And if you remember, there was a really nasty looking hole just kind of punched through the back of this backer board. And since I was going to keep this board, I decided that I was at least going to neaten up that opening just a little bit. So I just took a um, box cutter and just fixed it up a little bit. And by leaving this open, it does help in case I ever wanna maybe add a lamp or something that has a cord. So I just added one of the placemats that I purchased recently at Goodwill. I really like the pattern that's on this placemat. I think it's so farmhouse and I just love that rooster and the colors because if you've been following me, I mentioned earlier on in the year that the colors that I was going to be using to decorate my kitchen and dining room this year were burgundy, hunter green, and yellow. I just purchased this lantern yesterday at Goodwill and I think it is perfect and it is definitely farmhouse. I purchased it for $5 and I just wanna show you what the back of this is like and how it opens up and the little candle that's inside and the pit berries. So if you've been following me, I've been using these kind of um, country inspired battery operated candles and they're really nice. They have a timer. I purchased mine at a country store back in Pennsylvania, but you can also purchase these on Amazon. And I actually, in one of my videos, um, I did provide a link that you could purchase these. And I'll see if they're still available. And if they are, I'll link the item below in my description box. But the batteries were even still in this and it works. So that's really nice. I was so happy about that because one of these alone, I believe I pay about $8 for. So the fact that I bought the whole lantern and a candle for $5, that was a really good deal. And here are the pit berries inside the lantern. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this cleaned up and then I'll show you what it looks like in place on my stand. I wanted to go ahead and share my candle with you because I mentioned it. I just thought it would be nice to share it just in case you were curious and you haven't seen them. But these are the ones that I purchased back in Pennsylvania and they have different kind of stands. I think they're so cute. But I love these and they are on a timer. They look so real and very primitive, very farmhouse. And the brand of this one is actually called Hearthside. It's a timer taper and I paid $8.99 for this. So like I said, the fact that I paid $5 for that whole lantern, that's definitely a great deal. And there you go. That's how my lantern looks. I really like it. This is a vintage bowl that my mom gave me and I really do love this bowl. I always loved it whenever my mom used it, whenever I was growing up. And these are just faux apples that I added. And don't those just look like real Granny Smith apples? And beside my bowl, I'll be adding this basket filled with these beautiful orange and red pit berries that I bought recently at Goodwill for $2.99. So what are your thoughts so far? I really love how this is coming together, but I'm still not done because I'm still going to decorate on each side of my pie stand. For my other mason jar, I added some cinnamon sticks. 
My mom recently gave me this potato chip can. She has had it for years. It was her mom's and it was in her house whenever she was growing up. And I can remember long ago, whenever I was a kid, my mom would actually decorate above her kitchen counter with this. And I always enjoyed looking at it. And I asked my mom the one time whenever I was home recently, if she had any plans for that and if she didn't want it, if I could have it. And of course, my mama gave it to me. So thanks mom. And I really hope you like how I'm decorating with this. So what do you think? Do you like where I placed my vintage tin? My mom is going to be 84 years old this September and she still enjoys decorating her home. I get my passion and love of decorating from my mom. And on this side, I placed my crock. This is a four gallon crock and I've had this for a few years and believe it or not, I actually found this at Goodwill. It was damaged. There's a pretty big crack in it, but I really didn't care because I wasn't planning to resell it or to really be doing anything with it that would involve it getting wet. So. I was completely fine with buying it damaged. I've been wanting a crock for a long time and it's really quite funny because my mom used to have a crock bigger than this one and she actually got rid of it. She sold it one year at one of her yard sales and at that time I really had no interest in it and now to this day I still really wish that I would have had more of an interest back then so that I could have had that crock. Since I don't have a lid for my crock and the item that I'm going to be placing on top of my crock needs a solid base to sit on, I decided that I would use my griddle that was my grandma's. And this is a cast iron griddle. It's very old and yep, my mama gave this to me a long time ago. I love this griddle. It works awesome for biscuits, you guys. I actually will put this right into my oven and it makes beautiful brown biscuits. I think that looks so good. I just love it. Really has a nice farmhouse look to it. I think that looks so good together. I love it. I purchased the basket a few weeks ago at Goodwill and it's a really heavy duty basket. And for the inside of my basket, I placed a couple of my canning jars that are filled with pasta. And I've been doing this for many years. But what I did was I just took some old gingham fabric that I had and some moth fabric and I just cut out with my pinking shears and also just tied a little bow of twine. And I just think that that looks so adorable. And I added a few of my rooster napkins that were purchased from AmVets. I just love this whole look. And I love my roosters. So this is the rooster that I chose for this display. My sister-in-law found this for me at a yard sale and I thought about redoing it, but I don't know. Part of me just really likes the simplicity of this. I like it that I can see the moss. So I don't know. I For now, I am just totally happy with the look of it, you know, it's not um, the greatest looking rooster, but I'm really happy with it right now. So maybe eventually I will decide to do something with it, but right now I'm gonna keep it just like it is. 
And I have one more thing to add to my whole display. I just added this wreath to the front of my pie cupboard and I love it. What do you think? I just purchased it recently at Goodwill for $2. Now I'm gonna show you some close-up shots of everything together. Thanks for watching.